I'm fine today. Hmm, that's good to know. Okay, and what did you do? Oh, I just learned today. Okay, is it at home or at school? At school. Hmm, okay, I see. Yes, what about the weather for today? Is it still rainy? Um, no, it's not rainy today. Okay, that sounds great. So, it's sunny today. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, I believe so. All right, anyways, today we will go and continue to study your book. So, please wait. Let me share it with you. Can you see your book now? Yes, I can see the book. Okay, so we're going to read an advertisement and complete the chart opposite in your notebook with the re relevant information. So instead, instead of putting it in your notebook, you can just put it here, okay? We'll fill out this form later on. But first, let's read the advertisement. Okay, first, number one, the Stingray. A Stingray rappers performing live at Castle at Pelly Castle 26 youth. Okay. So what's in the information? But uh, if the information is the concert. But I think we are uh, did we learn English? I think we are learning about tree house or about uh, echo house. Oh, yes. But yes, we're done about it, right? Yes. This one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yes, let's just have the activities for advertisement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, yeah, here are the information. Okay. So, it has a time. Okay. And what is it about? It's outdoor summer concert. Okay. And where to buy the tickets at the town hall box uh, office okay and when or 18 june yes and it has free parking in the castle grounds okay so that's the information for the first advertisement how about number two number two is yes. blue box spot day Okay. Bring the family and friends to a special fundraising spot day from Blue Box Char Charities. They have activities for family, food, drink, and playground rights. All fundraise to the charity. Yes. Where? Rally Road Sports Center Field. Date. 5th July at 11 a.m. Okay, so those are the information. Number three. Carnival 10th July. Don't miss it. This year, the theme of Carnival is Alfred's cartoon characters. Starts at 11 o'clock on the morning in the town park. This will be fun and entertainment with music shit, magic magicians, shit and bats. magic shit and bats. Okay, so um, with those three advertisements, there are different information. Okay, some of them are missing. Some of them are also having the correct and um, detailed information. All right. So what we will do now is to put what, where, when, what time, and other information of each advertisement, okay? Okay. So, so let's try, okay, so we have what for advertisement one, it's about outdoor summer concert, and where, where will it help? It's, uh...
it is silver cluster it's it tall town hall in the town hall box office okay is that where they're going to perform uh not it's penleaf castle yes okay so penleaf castle all right and when when will it be it's 26 June. Correct. Okay, so let me put it there. 26 June. And what time? It's 7 p.m. a team late. Correct. So let's just put it here, 7 p.m. And does it have any other information? Can you put it there? My ticket at the town hall box office okay so buy ticket at the town hall sorry office office okay so that's the other information about the first advertisement how about the second advertisement what is it all about it's about Blue Box Sports Day. Okay, so Blue Box Sports Day. And where is it? It's in Rally Rural Sports Center Field. That's right. Okay, let me fill it up. Rally Road Sports Center oh. Field. Yeah, center field. Oh, sorry. And yes, it's on. It's on fifth July. And the time is at eleven AM. Correct. Okay, so this one is earlier. Okay, and other information about the blue box sports day. It's a fundraising fundraising spot day. Mm -hmm. So fundraising sports, sports day. day. Okay. Do you also have this one in town? Do you have it? Oh, I have a sports day in school. Oh, at school, but not in your town. Yes. Ah, all right. Because it's different. Okay. Next, the third advertisement. What is it all about? It's about carnival. Carnival. Car correct. Yes, carnival. Yes. Okay. And where will it be? Town park. Okay. In the town park. Oh. All right. And when will it be? It's the 10th of July. Yes, 10th of July. Yes, and the time is 11 o'clock. Any, any other information? It's about favorite uh, cartoon characters. Okay, it's about favorite cartoon characters. Okay, favorite cartoon. Oh. Characters. Correct. Characters. Okay. So we have filled in all the information on the box. Okay. So I have seen that everything that you said is correct. All right. So once again, this is an example okay. of how you write an advertisement. Yes. Have you tried to write an advertisement at school or have you seen any advertisement at school? No. Oh, how about in town? No, too. Hmm, really? Oh, actually, probably there are. Yes, probably there. Mm, they are posted in the street. Yes, or it can be posted somehow in your bulletin board at school. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Anyways, um, have you went to a carnival? 
Yes. No. Oh no. I see. Okay, but probably you went mm, in. But a... I want to go to the carn uh, carnival. You went there. Uh, but I want not oh, went. Sorry. Oh, you want to go there? Yes, because there yes. are a lot of cartoon characters. Yes. Yes, okay. I want to go to that car carnival. Okay. And there will be a lot of entertainment, and it's really, really fun. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. Okay, I guess this book is in diagonal form. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so let's talk to each other about which event you would like to go and why. Okay. So, let's say, letter A, I'd like to go to, where do you like to go? the beach because because i like to swim okay. and play sand play sand all right yes it can be an event because there will be a party there right yes okay so um i prefer to go to the cinema <laughs> yes oh. Because um, I love to watch films and uh, especially action films. Yes. I like to watch films too, but I like cartoon films. Ah, yes, yes. That suits your age. Correct. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's pronounce the intonation in question text. So you just have to listen and repeat to what I say. Okay. So here we're in this okay. part. So. Please listen first and repeat after me. You're going to the carnival, aren't you? Please read. No, uh, no, I don't. Uh, I mean, you just have to read. Don't answer the question. Oh, uh, you're yeah. going to the carnival, aren't you? Okay, listen to the pronunciation and the intonation. You're going to the carnival, aren't you? You going to, you're going to the carnival, aren't you? Very good. Next, number two. Your sister is dressing up, isn't she? Your sister is dressing up, isn't she? Great. You play football, don't you? You play football, don't you? Great. It starts at 7 o'clock, doesn't it? It starts at 7 o'clock, doesn't it? Great. Okay, so as you can see, the intonation is at the end of the word, right? In every question, okay? Yes. Because you are asking a question. Yes. So it's not like um, a period form. Mm -hmm. It's in a question form. So you have to, yes, you have to hire the intonation. So that's very important. Okay. So let's make sentences using question tags to check facts about your partner's life. Okay, like for example, you've got a dog, haven't you? You like football, don't you? Okay, let's try to make this kind of sentence. Okay, so yeah, please say it to me. I'll just write it here. Okay. The you have brothers, don't you? Sorry, you've got uh, sisters. Uh, haven't you? Okay, haven't is correct. Another one. Your, yeah, your went to went. The tree house. Uh, uh, aren't you? Okay. So, yes, I'd like to um, correct the sentence that you made. Okay. And we thank you so much for that idea. 
So you said you went to treehouse, aren't you? Okay, so in this part, um, we're not using went. Okay. Go, go, not went. You're go or going? Going. Going. So it should be I and G. You're going to the treehouse, aren't you? Okay. One more. Okay. More than you, you eat, uh, you eat the uh, chicken, don't you? Don't you? Very good. Okay. So, anyways, that's a great example of sentences yes so everything has question tags okay so whenever you are going to ask someone okay in this portion so like for example you've got a sister haven't you so always remember what you used in the first or what you use on the pronoun okay Okay. And also the verb. That's very important. All right. So now let's go to some famous places. So let's read the text and answer the questions. Have you been to Peru? Have you been to Peru? Uh, if you haven't, then this is the first time you go to Peru, then you must visit the Peru Mar Machu, Machu Picchu the Los Incas city Machu Picchu is a uh, is in Cusco region of Peru uh, in South America it's a high of the mountain above the Irubamba River mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know Machu is mean old and Asian, uh, Asian. and Pichu is means peaks and mountain, old mountain. It is built by Emperor Pachacuti and is high above the Uramba River. It was discovered by an uh, American explorer Hidden Bingham in 1911, and historian is a the interior of some ceremonial ceremonial, ceremonial in fact they have uh, they, have you been on a trip before there are quite a few ways to get to Machu Picchu train helicopter and trekking the Inca trail is a more difficult way to get the mysterious lost city of the Inca it's, it's the most famous track in South America. It is very long, 43 kilometers. And the track goes through beautiful mountains, scenery, and lush forests until you arrive to a spectacular Inca site. You can choose any easy, moderate, or difficult road, depending how fit you are. Okay, so, anyways, we are talking about going to Peru yes so it's a part of South America mm -hmm. and yes if you are going to go to Peru you must visit the Machu Picchu yes it's a very famous uh, place in there okay so what does Picchu or Machu means Machu means old or ancient and Picchu means peak or mountain correct Okay, so yes, and um, they are very famous also uh, when it comes to trekking. Yes, so it's also like hiking. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so going there because it's actually a, a mountain. Yes, okay, so this is one of the picture of it. Yes, Can, have you recognized the photo? Uh, it's so high. Exactly, it is. All right, and I guess this is um a really great view. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. yes, but it's so high, it's so dangerous. Yes, it's really dangerous. So you must go there with an adult with you. Yes, if you want to. <laughs> Okay, so it's as it says here that the scenery there is really wonderful and beautiful. Yes, it's, and it also um, has a spectacular Inca site. So this is the Inca site. It's very, um, yeah, it's very ancient, right? Like it's really old. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. Now let's read and answer the questions. Okay, so we're done in the one, number one. Uh, who discovered the lost Inca city? Is is Hiram Bingham? Okay, so he discovered the lost city. Yes. Okay. Yes. The Inca city, and which is the most difficult way to get to Pacho Picchu? Machu Picchu, I mean, which is the it's most... the track. It's the track. Yes, it's the track. It's Inca Trail, actually. Yeah. It is the most difficult way to get to the mysterious lost city of the Incas. Okay. Yes. All right. So, talking about landmarks in your country, um, have you been to any landmarks in your country? No, I don't have any uh, go to. I haven't going to any landmarks in my country. Ah, uh, like for example, any um mountain in Vietnam. No, never. Oh, you haven't. Yes. Okay. How about do you know someone who has, who yeah, who went to any, you know, adventure things? I think my mom and my dad. Really? Wow. Yes. I they, think uh, I'm not uh, sure. Oh, <laughs> not sure. Maybe, yes. Um, they have went to some. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you seen any pictures of them going to any other beautiful places in Vietnam? Uh, yes, I go to some place in Vietnam. Yes, how about your parents? Uh, yes, they have one yes, too. I, yes. All right, okay. So, yes, can you tell me any um, beautiful place that I, I can go in Vietnam? Oh, it's a uh, Halong Bay. It's so beautiful on Fukuok Island. It's so, so beautiful. Oh, I yes. I know that uh, in Fukuok Island one time, so I see that so beautiful. Yes. Oh, but okay. I go to Halong Bay so many times. Yes, so I have seen that it's really wonderful and beautiful. Yeah, in there. How is the experience yes. going there in Halong Bay? It's fun. It's fun. When was the last time you went there? It is uh, April. This year or last year? Yes, this year. Wow. April this year. That's nice. Okay, and I bet you were with your parents and your brother? Yes. With wow. my parents' friends too. Yeah, so yes, I have seen the photo of Halong Bay and I can see that's really wonderful. It has also caves, yes. I believe. Am I right? I think yes, but I don't go to the caves. Ah, <laughs> I go to the beach. Oh, to the beach. But you haven't ride any boats or something like that in no, there? No, no. Not mm. uh, any boats or ferry boats. Uh, ferry boats. Oh, you haven't. So you just went along yeah, the beach? Never. Yes, along the beach and, along the beach and swim. Aha, uh -huh, okay, yes. So that's what you missed. 
Yes, you're saying that you love to go to the beach to play. Yes, all right. Okay, so how about the foods there? What can you say about the foods in there? It's delicious. Really? What are the foods yes, in really. there? It's about some things in the beach, like shrimps or fish. Mm. Okay, so... Or some things, uh, like uh, some many things in the beach. You mean to say seafoods? Yeah, seafoods. Oh, I love Lots it. of, uh, lot of sea, lot of shrimps, lot of fish, wow. and so many things another. Oh, I love that. And how many days did you stay there? Oh, I stayed there in uh, two days and one night. Wow. Yeah, so I guess you have spent a lot of fun and um, really incredible things. You've seen anything there, right? A lot of beautiful yes. things happen. <laughs> yes. So you were saying that you were with your friends at that time too, right? No, it's uh, my parents' friends, not uh, my friends. Ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, but that trip is fun. Mm -hmm, yes, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you um, express your excitement when you were there. Yes, and I guess yes. it's really, really fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay. And what else, um, aside from Halong Bay, you were saying another one? Oh, it's Fukuok Island. It's another place... But it's uh, so far from Hanoi. Ah, oh, how long? I will need it a take plane. It? I think it's two hours with a plane. Yes, I bet that's far, really far from your place. Yes. Oh, I but see. in Halong Bay, I need two hours with a car. Oh yes, but when um, do, do you have to go by train when you go there? Is it? No, I need to go by plane. Oh, by plane? Airplane. Oh. Yes, by airplane. Yeah, so when you're going to fly from your city to Halong Bay, yes. Not the Halong plane. Bay, it's Fukuok Island. Yes, ah, yes. it's Fukuok Island to plane. Ah, okay, by plane. You don't have to fly a plane by um, the city to Halong, right? Yes. Ah, you said because you said you just have to ride with a car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I guess. Um. Well, he... Yes. Um, um. At meeting, I go with that in March. Oh, you went this there? year. This year. Wow. You have went yes, to a beautiful places this year. So lucky. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. Yes, many beautiful places this year. Yes, and I believe there will be more coming soon. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you yes. must really have fun about it. Okay. Anyways, yes, thank you so much for sharing your um, experiences and ideas in the class. So I guess we're running out of time and we'll just continue this in our next class, okay? Okay. okay thank you and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.